So today we're going to do a brake service on my vehicle. Um, and this is just a uh, tutorial of how to do it. Um, I may not be 100% correct, but this is the way I do it, and this is the way I like to do it, and this is the way I prefer to do it. So basically, you get the wheel off, and you get your two studs that are back here. I believe they are 15 mil. Yes, they are a 15. And they are on there pretty damn tight. And <laughs> 15 stuck. Bolt stuck. Give me a second. Okay, so I got the bolt out. Okay, sometimes if it's way so it's over tight, you do have to put the other bolt back in. And again, get stuck. Be back. Okay, so I got the bolt out. Just simple, put a screwdriver in and just push. So you get both bolts out, then you can pull your caliper off. And in this case it has the emergency brake cable on it, so you want to just uh, support it however you want, or however you feel like it, whether it be a uh, bungee cord or anything. Uh, in my case, I'm going to go grab a clothes hanger and use that. Both hanger. Mainly just fish it right through it. Fish it in just so it doesn't fall. And what I do usually is just stick it right through it. Take it through and hook it on the coil spring or whatever you have right there that's strong. And you're going to get these back bolts which are I believe a 15 as well. If I, Yeah they are 15 as well but I, I'm going to need a breaker bar. Okay, so all you really, all I did was just take a big, long, big long ratchet bar or, or yeah, breaker bar and broke them loose, and just you pull them out.
Put your bolts out. Boom, your house mounts off. Not talking to you, dummy. So now we're just going to take this over the bench and I'll explain to you uh, what, what I'm going to do there. So you just pull your pads out, no big deal. Uh, pull your clips out, pull those off, and put this in the vise. And you always want to make sure these move freely, and they do. Okay, just open up your vise, obviously. And just make sure she's in there, not gonna move. You're gonna take your file. Well, I guess tools you're gonna need Molly slip, uh, file, or another good way is to use, is have a uh, sandblaster. But if you don't have a sandblaster, wire brush and a file are, your, are gonna be your best friends. So pretty much all you're gonna do is just take your file and file all this out make and get all the, the dirt and rusty metal off and until you get down to bare metal basically but and you do that here up here under here 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 obviously and the exact same on the other side and when this is done I will come back and I'll show you what to do next okay so I got this done it's all pretty clean so now I'm going to take the clips and clean those off, get all this gunk and sh crap off it, and just then lube it up after. And uh, yeah, just pretty much I'll show you what, what happens when it's uh, all clean. So pretty much just you can either take a file, but in my case it's not bad at all, so I'm just taking paper towel, cleaning it off, getting getting all the old lubricant off so I can put a uh, new lubricant on it so none of it rusts or uh, seizes to the other parts. Okay, so everything's all clean. Like the clips are clean, the uh, uh, pad or the uh, yeah, brake caliper mount is all cleaned up. So now you just take your brake pads, you take your uh, file and just kind of uh, take the edge off the pad and uh, where the pad uh, goes into the uh, caliper mount, just clean that off, get all the crap off it, and here on the back also get all that off too. So when you're done cleaning it all, you're gonna take Molly slip and just uh, coat coat where the clips go. So here, usually up here, in there. No, not just cleaner. Just pretty much coat it. Putting too much that never hurts a thing. And just do it on both sides. Hey Brandon, you're supposed to be looking at the toy up today. Now you're gonna do it today. Yeah, I have a problem, you know, I'm gonna set up my set up for it. Got it. Uh coat it. Right. But yeah, and you can put your clips on. Uh, well, first get all this this other crap out of here. Then you can put your clip on. So the clip goes in all the way. Then you just take more Molly slips, coat that as well. And then uh, you're going to take your pad and molly slip the ends here and uh, you can put it all back together. So, got it all back together. Just going to take it over. Make sure you always have paper towels with you because when you're dealing molly slip, it's a pain in the butt. So, I'm just going to put that here. Stay. And just take. That, take a bolt. Uh, 
It can be a major pain in the rear end, but sometimes it's a pain to go on, but you'll get it. And you never want to get molly slip on the disc because you it's uh, not good at all. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to line up the bolt too, but just fiddle with it and you'll get it. But if you do end up getting molly slip on the uh, disc, just wipe it off. No, I'm just gonna go for the bottom one because. Top and bottom one is in. Let's grab this top one. And lo and behold, the top one goes right back in. Please, again, down by hand, grab your uh, wrench with your 15 and just tighten it down. Uh, some people say target, some people don't. Well, I can say most garages don't torque them, but they do have to be uh, tight, like quite tight. And my words, I say a grunt and a half. So, so there's a grunt and a half. So, no, this was a grunt and a half. There we go. There's a grunt and a half. Grunt and a half, she's in. She's not going to go anywhere, she's not going to strip. So you just want to spin your rotor a little bit, because you can see I got some molly slip on there, so I'm just going to grab my lovely trusty paper towel. Grab it, rub the molly slip off. But, see there, it's all good. Put that there. Then you're going to grab your Calper, unhook it, and then take your, just take the, uh, my case clothes hanger out, you can use a bungee cord, whatever you want, belt, string, whatever, yeah. Just throw it away, you don't need it. So you just want to grab, grab it, put it on, and then, uh, your things here you're going to want to compress and just give it a good little tap tap grab your bolts put them in like you're, you're going to have to wiggle it around a little bit until you find the holes but you will find them Sometimes it is a pain in the butt. Nope. But yeah, when I get these in, I will... Oh, there you go, they're in. So basically, just gonna put them in. There we go, they're in. Take 15. So that's probably gonna be about, about a grunt. There we go, one grunt. There's, there's your grunt. And boom, you just did rake service. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, this is for my Auto Shop CPT. So, uh, yeah. So, if you like this, please subscribe and give me more suggestions. Talk to you guys later.